it was a really traumatizing experience being locked up in a really bright cold cell for several hours can't move around can't do anything feeling cold thin thin mattress i did try to close my eyes and try to sleep but i could not get to sleep I had been hiding who I was in Kenya and even even though I knew that homosexuality is allowed here, the fear still came with me so it took a while for me to change and I remember the first time I walked to a gay pub, I was scared people would see me looking so I walked past pretending not to be interested in it. From the other side of the street coming back down is when I took a glance making sure people don't notice. When I first applied for asylum, they tried to claim that I'm not gay. That's despite the overwhelming evidence I'd given them. A screenshot of my secret Facebook page. I had sponsored my ex-partner to come and join me as my partner. I had given them receipts of Grindr. They did not believe me. Kenya has um, some slightly archaic laws with regards to homosexuality. It's still a criminal offence to be homosexual. We did the only thing we could do, get on social media, posting on Facebook, on, on Twitter, on Instagram. The media storm was absolutely amazing. The judge said that his case had changed because of what we did. There was so much attention. Everybody around the world knew about this. Because Ken's profile has been raised so much, um, the Kenyan media are well aware of Ken. We were very aware that we could actually be causing more harm than good. Ken said, I want you to do it, I want you to raise this. It's not just for me, it's for everyone else that's in this situation. The biggest concern is being forcefully removed from the UK. Now that people in Kenya also know that I'm gay, I'm worried about mob violence kind of being attacked. How do I live my life if I survive? And I have no answer. I don't know what I would do. I don't know. You hear about it happening to other people, but when it's somebody that you know, your friend, your teammate, it's awful. The nature of social media is that one day you're all anybody's talking about, your, your front page news, you're trending on Twitter, and then the next day you've been replaced by something else. We never know where we are with Ken at any time. We still don't know. He is still not free. I'm waiting for the Home Office to make a decision on my application to remain in the UK. At the bail hearing, they had said that they would make a decision in seven days. That was towards the end of November, I'm still waiting.